Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back. Thursday night live chosen chick style Bible study. Listen, I need all of y'all to get in here right now. I need you to be early and on time. When you come in, drop a comment, say hi, hello, what's up? Let me know these comments are working. Let me drop a comment myself because the Grimmers have been after us. Y'all let me know if the comments are working, working, working. Hey, Mika, drop a comment. Say hi, hello, what's up? Let me know if the comments are working. In the meantime, I'm going to invite just a couple people. When I was on live the other day, the comments were acting crazy, so, but... We're going to jump right on over that. You know what I say? Love on each other. Engage with each other. If I cannot see you, it looks like they might not be. That's okay. It is all love and all good. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to jump right in. Anybody who is late, I need to make sure that my table is stable because we got some movement <laughs> going on here. Listen, Thursday Night Live. Each and every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern, this is how we get down. Invite a friend, tag a family member, bring your auntie, bring your mom. It's all good, and it's all love here. Chosen Chick Discussion Group has been going strong now for about two years. So, so exciting. This is not just a place to be cute on social media. Y'all know I don't do that. I don't believe in that. But Chosen Chick Discussion Group is where real women to get together to have real discussions about real issues, but most importantly, to hear what God says about our life. So Thursday Night Live Bible Study is the time we can come together. It's a place for real friends and real compassion. I've been saying this really, really intently for about the past month. We are here to link arms with one another. You don't have to go through things alone. You have real sisters. We're not just pictures in your phone. We're not just likes and hearts and those things. This is real. So I encourage us to connect with one another. As I'm talking, I see that I do not think the comments are working. Y'all don't be discouraged. Stick around. I promise God has something to say to you. If by chance, by the time we get ready to pray, the comments are not working. Y'all know when I go back, and do my hashtag replay i will um i will take your request before the lord and pray hey alexandria thank you for being here jump in the comments um engage with your sisters because i cannot see what you are saying it's just real ridiculous over here but that's okay we're gonna jump over that so i'm getting ready to did i invite people yeah i did that part already so um i'm getting ready to pray then um, I will come back if I remember and do my little introduction. I'm pretty sure that I forgot to do that last week. And then we're going to jump in. We're still in our prayer series. Tonight we're going to be talking about why you pray. Last week we talked about when you pray. Certain things that you need to include in your prayer. Okay, remembering that Thanksgiving piece. Not just bringing God your list, right? So tonight we're going to be talking about why you pray. That's an important part of our Christian walk. My girl Rose is in the building. Hey Rose. Listen, y'all get in the comments, engage with each other. I cannot see, I cannot see the comments. But don't be discouraged. Okay. And Rose, find out where Hazel is. I don't see her and she is not on vacation, so she needs to get in here. Okay, so let us pray and then we're going to jump right in. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, thank you for joy. God, thank you that your joy is our strength. In the times that we are in, God, we need strength, we need endurance, and we need you, God. So thank you for giving us that joy. Thank you for restoring unto us love, joy, hope, and peace, God. All of these kingdom benefits, God, thank you for calling us your own. Thank you for being the lover of our head and the lifter of our soul, God. You are everything we need you to be, Father, and we thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for the gift of prayer that we have unlimited access, that we can talk to you, that we can go before the throne, Lord God, that we can present our thanksgiving, that we can humble ourselves, God, and we can also present our supplication, God, our request. God, thank you that you know more and see further than us, God. And tonight, Lord, we, we yield 
this sacred set aside time to you, Lord God. We honor you in this time to go before your word together with our sisters, God, to see what you have to say to us on tonight. Lord God, plant your word in our heart, Lord God, that it will bring forth fruit and much fruit in this time, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, that it's going to fall on good soil on tonight. Change hearts and minds on tonight. Change lives, God. Illuminate something for us that we have never seen before. In Jesus' holy name, amen, amen, amen. All right. So, for those of you that don't know, somebody might have tagged you in this video right now while I'm talking right now, right now, right now. Drop your friend's name in the comment. Rose, where is Daphne? Drop Daphne's name in the comment if your phone will allow you to do that. Somebody may have invited you. You may say, hey, what is this? I don't know what's going on here. So, my name is Artisha T. Bolding. I am the founder of the Chosen Chick Discussion Group. I am an ordained minister and certified life coach. I motivate women and entrepreneurs to birth their business book or brand. I ensure that you are no longer stuck in life, but thriving in success that's aligned with your passion and your purpose. The very calling of my life is to uncover the real you. I build legacies of health, wealth, and wisdom. I'm a kingdom entrepreneur, and I only do this by the power of the Holy Ghost. So it's my pleasure. I'm so happy that you all are here. Hey, Camille, thank you for being here. Hey, Lisa, y'all, please engage with each other. I absolutely hate that the gremlins are on my back so bad. I can't show you the love that I want to in the comments, but just know I see you. I appreciate you being here, and um, just love on your sister. There go Hazel. Hey, Hazel, thank you for being here. The comments are not working yet, but they magically appeared last week around prayer time. So we're going to see what it do. Tonight, we're going to be talking about why you pray. Why you pray. Let me scroll real quick. Y'all know my scroll game is weak, so just pray. Okay, yes, we got a few versions tonight. Those that know, know that I favor the New Living Translation. So we're going to start off with that. And we're also going to share a few uh, passages from the Message Translation, which I love as well okay so talking about why you pray so just in the terms of a quick recap last week wait a minute let me see i closed one screen let me just open this back real quick last week we talked about when you pray when you pray and we went over the acts method again again just four things that you really when you're formulating your prayers we know praise is a weapon and we know that i taught this is a separate lesson praise can go further than prayer but prayer is important when you pray we're not just taking god a laundry list god is not our santa claus nor our sugar daddy right so when you pray you need to have that adoration okay humbling yourself adoring god loving on him then you need to have the confession god i know i messed up but thank you for loving me thank you for forgiving me then you're going to have your thanksgiving again that praising of god acknowledging him and then finally you have your supplication your actual request when you package it like that i promise you you're going to see a difference in your attitude you're going to see a difference in god's response to you okay so this week we're going to be talking about why you pray why you pray so i didn't have a song necessarily in um, my spirit this week so i i don't have any lines to share with us so we're just going to jump right into scripture okay hey so i know you can you uh can manage the comments love on your sisters because like i said i can't see anything so there's a psalm there's all there's there's always a psalm right at least 99 percent of the time so jumping off with psalms chapter 62 new living translation the first two verses say this i wait quietly before god for my victory comes from him he alone is my rock and my salvation this is the wrong <laughs> y'all wait a minute I know, i'm just like wait a minute i read that last week y'all continue to pray for your sister continue to pray i had two things and notes open so rewind <laughs> that's still good we do wait patiently on the lord this week that was good take that in but you put a little star by your notes psalms 34 <laughs> psalms 34 i opened my notes from last week y'all forgive me psalms 34 this is it right here talking about why you pray now psalms 34 we're going to look at verses 15 and verse 17 we're still new living okay 
I know y'all over there cracking up at me. I can't see y'all in the comments. Psalms 34 says this. This is verse 15 and 17. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. Hey, cuz. Thank you for being here. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. His ears are open to their cries for help. The Lord hears his people. This is it. This is it right here. Why you pray? The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. Somebody say something to me. God hears us when we cry for help, when we call to him. He rescues us from all of our troubles. So now you know what I do. My job is to get you to shift your heart and shift your mind on how you view trouble. But we know that trouble comes. But just like Richard Smallwood said, trouble don't last always. Is that Richard Smallwood? The old gospel song. Trouble don't last always. So God rescues us from all of our trouble when we have that attitude when we have that mindset then that gives us confidence in prayer we don't have to stress out we don't have to have the anxiety the depression the back and forth we don't find ourselves in that season of doubt hello or that season of confusion like i was y'all already know right up leading to the time where I found myself in the hospital battling for my life. I can honestly say I've been in church my entire life in good Bible teaching churches, not in this play play stuff, okay? And I still found myself on a crazy road through choices that I made, okay? A season of doubt and a season of confusion because of who I was lending my ear to. Hello, somebody. It's not just me. I know I'm talking to somebody in here, okay? But the word right here says, God rescues us from all of our trouble. So let me just break it down. I can always talk about me. If you are in a place where you are finding yourself disenchanted is the word I'm going to use. That's a good word. Disenchanted or disillusioned in your relationship with family members that were perhaps once close with you. Heck, in your church home. All right. At your job. It's just like God. I don't feel fulfilled. I don't like this. And see, the enemy loves to pray on you, P-R-E-Y, pray on you when you get in those little seasons like that. He'll start trying to unravel your mind, speak things to your ear like, oh, they never really liked you. Or, oh, you don't fit in here. You need to try something new. Oh, this is boring. This is old. Try this, try this. And you get out there and you try, try, try all these things instead of resting in the confidence that your heavenly father has everything you need. Everything you need is in God and everything you need is inside of yourself. When you start looking outside, that's when you get all the way jacked up. Ask me how I know. Okay. I have several books right now that talk all about it. You understand what I'm saying? So understand there's a reason why we pray. Not giving a laundry list, not even doing out of obligation. Mom taught me I need to pray when I wake up in the morning and before I go to bed at night. Okay, but what you talking about? That's the same thing. Guess what? God is just like T. If you call my phone, you better have something to talk about. I, I don't, I'm not, don't just ring my phone for no reason. Guess what? God said the exact same thing. Why you pray? Pray with confidence. Pray that you know God has your answer. Pray to the one, this is it. Because you can call me and I love you. I'll agree with you with what God says about you. You might call your other girlfriends. You might call up. But the one you need to be talking to is the one who has the answer. The one who has the resolution. Hello, somebody, to your issue. The revelation that you need. That one instruction obeyed away from your major breakthrough. It's one thing that the Lord, hey, Cookie, it's one thing that the Lord has told you that you need to do and you've been beating around the bush you've been trying to get out of it you've been trying to get out of it and you wonder why things are not flowing like they once were you wonder why you're not finding yourself having that peace you're not sleeping as well at night it's because you are not in obedience you haven't done that next thing 
Okay, and guess what? That's trouble as well. So these are the things that you have to talk to the Lord about. Lord, help me be brave. Lord, help me step out on faith. Lord, help me say the right words to these people. God, help me not go off on somebody. God, I have had my foot filled and I feel like I'm getting ready to say or do something that's really going to get me in trouble. So God, help me. Hold me. Y'all, this is why you pray. Crying out to the one that can help you. Yes, by all means, call me. Y'all know I always put my email out. I'm going to give it to you again. Thehealgirl at gmail.com. If you have a private or confidential prayer request, if you have a testimony that you may not want to share openly at this time, if you're having challenges, and absolutely, if you are considering coaching and say, T, I really just want to level up. I want to do the next thing. Absolutely, that's what I'm here for. And guess what? What I'm going to do is partner with you hold you accountable in love and most of all i'm going to take this to god with you the one who has the solution the resolution okay i want to say i didn't mean to say all that but apparently god meant to say hey taisha thank you for being here y'all i love y'all thank you so much for dropping in please love on each other in the comments i've said this 15 times because i'm very very displeased that the gremlins are i don't know what it is I don't know what it is. I've done everything troubleshooting wise and the comments just have just been acting really crazy. So y'all love on each other and know that when I catch my replay, I will catch your comments. Okay. By the way, if you couldn't be with us live, if you couldn't stay for the um, entire lesson, go back, catch the replay, drop the comment, hashtag replay so that I can acknowledge you and engage with you because it's an honor that you would want to share with your sisters on tonight. Okay. So now we're getting ready to flip over to the message version. Y'all know I love the message version. I'm convinced that a Baptist preacher wrote it. I love it. It reads like a sermon. All I feel like I can do is just insert a hoop in there. And like, I feel like I can just go and do that. But that's that's not what I do. That's not. I hope you didn't uh, sign on, log on for that. Because that's not what I do. But I love this here. Okay. So Mark chapter 11. I love this so much. Okay. So now let me just give you a heads up we're getting ready to flip a little bit back and forth from mark to matthew in just a minute okay actually yeah after we go to mark we're gonna go in matthew we're gonna be in the message then we're gonna jump back to new living okay so just follow me if you have b-i-b-l-e you are all right with me okay so mark chapter 11 we're going to start at verse 22. This is the message verse, so I'm going to try to, if the Holy Spirit jump in, if my tongue do something else, then y'all know. But I'm going to try to read through this because it reads really good. Listen to what he's saying right here. Mark 11, starting at verse 22, it says this, message version. Jesus was matter of fact saying, embrace this God life. Really embrace it. And nothing will be too much for you. This mountain, for instance, just say, go jump in the lake. No shuffling or hemming and hawing. And it's as good as done. That's a word for somebody on tonight. It's as good as done. That's why I urge you to pray for absolutely everything. Ranging from small to large. Include everything as you embrace this God life. And you'll get God's everything. Now that's exciting. That's exciting. You'll get God's everything. And when you assume the posture of prayer, remember that it's not all asking. If you have anything against someone, oh, forgive. Only then will your heavenly father be inclined to also wipe your slate clean of sins. Wow. Y'all, that was three verses. Well, really four, 22 through 25. Four verses that we just have to unpack a minute because that's real. That is not to be played with. You can speak to the mountain and the mountain will be moved. The mountain can't shuffle him and haul, and neither can you. You speak the word of faith, the mountain has to obey. Okay, that's one thing. Jesus said, I urge you 
to pray for absolutely everything from small to large and embrace this God life. When you embrace the God life, then you get God's everything. Remember, we're talking about why you pray. This is why you pray. This is why you pray. You're embracing the God life. Then you get access to everything that God has for you. He, The Bible says that he will withhold no good thing from you. When you walk up right before. So sometimes y'all are like, well, see, how does this all even relate? Remember, we were just in Psalms says that he rescues us from all of our trouble. Well, then the Bible goes on to say, when we walk upright before him, he will withhold no good thing from us. Y'all, it's so many benefits in this God life, this good life. But we have to understand what God is calling us to do and why we are even praying, okay? And it says, guess what? In this posture of prayer, when you're humbling yourself, okay, when you're going through the adoration and confession, thanksgiving and supplication when you're going through your prayer when you're in that posture asking god say god i need you to show up i need you to deliver i need you to do this well it says if you have something against someone and you praying to god in other words you can pause your prayer right there you need to resolve this you need to forgive you need to say god i put this in your hands if you expect your prayer to be answered, if you expect... Obviously, I didn't have my ring off. If you expect God to come through and respond to your request, God said you have to first forgive. Forgive those that might have done anything against you. Matter of fact, give me just one second. Y'all make sure we don't have another interruption. Hold tight. Hopefully that cut that out. Okay? Understanding why we pray. The things we have to do as a posture of prayer and going before God. Alright? So now we're going to go to Matthew. And I want to look at a couple of different things here. We're going to stay in the message version for right now. Okay? We're going to be in the message version again. And we're going to look at Matthew chapter 6. I have a few verses that I want us to walk through there. Matthew chapter 6. Make sure that was all. Yes. I feel your hearts and your minds churning. I wish I could see if you have questions or comments. But Hazel is there. And, um, and like I said, I will review this. And connect with you if you if you need that. I also needed some water. Okay, Matthew chapter six. Matthew chapter six of the message version says this. Verse number five. We're gonna look at a few verses. Verse number five says this. And when you come before God, that I. I I just love this. Let me read through it. And when you come before God, don't turn it into a theatrical production. This is the message version, okay? When you come before God, don't turn it into a theatrical production either. All these people making a regular show out of their prayers, hoping for 15 minutes of fame. Do you think God sits in a box seat? Y'all, I told y'all. I told, I told y'all I love this. I love this performative let me just say something about that we are saved by grace there is a reason that we cannot get to heaven based on deeds let me say that one more time because there is somebody like me who was raised up in a traditional old school church and you were supposed to pay dues and show up on Sunday and be at the pastor's anniversary and do this and you wasn't supposed to be playing cards and talking to men and all of this and it's this whole list of things <clears throat> a whole list of things that you were supposed to do and not do but God is not into that God is about relationship okay Inviting Christ into your life to be your savior, that's the one step, okay? 
you really accept, believe, and confess Christ. Okay, and you really want to change your life. You want to have a better life, this God life, like we just talked about in Mark, right? So this piece of it just reminds us we are not on a stage okay even though i have lights camera action right now that's just only to share with you virtual because you all are everywhere right now right but it is not about us being seen okay it's not about us praying big long fancy prayers and having all of this extensive vocabulary it's not about the suits that we wear on into church it's y'all it's not even about the size of the seed it is about your heart posture it is about being humble and trusting God this is what we've been talking about really all year all 2022 for a fact we have been talking about really trusting God because your lifestyle hello will let us know how much you really trust God okay uh, let me just uh, toes to step on it's okay are you tithing are you sowing other seeds that God is calling you to do? Are you at Bible study? Hello, thank you for being here. Are you connecting with other believers to get this kingdom work done? That shows if you trust God, if you're wanting to be obedient to him, not this performance stuff, okay? Not sitting up front in church, not at the church meeting, having all of the questions that is it's so not about that i just i have to drive that home okay to pull us out of that old school mindset some of that stuff that grandma auntie and them they meant well they meant well but that is not going to usher you into this god lifestyle that we're talking about on tonight that's not going to help you understand why you pray what prayer is about what god delivers on okay so just wanted to share that just wanted to share that it cannot be performance based at this time okay we are saved by grace and not good deeds all right so now i want to look at the very next verse i did break these um break these down still in matthew chapter six now we're gonna look at verse number six still the message version okay excuse me it says here's what i want you to do this is so it's like okay t well that's all i know that's all my my uncles are deacons that's all they did you know my mom has been in church 50 years that's all i've seen my family do that's all i know that's all they do at my home church okay i get it so now this is what happens when you connect with people who can move you a little bit further right then that means you're presented with options so you have choices now so once you're presented with the information and the revelation you then have a choice hello you're not locked into doing what you've always seen because now you've seen better so you can choose better you can talk to the lord about how you do your thing guess what let me just say this right here before i even go on into this let me just say you are one in a billion okay a masterpiece a hazel a designer original there is no one like you in the earth okay we say that about god in adoration and prayer and that's true but guess what he made you in his image there's only one you your grandma used to say when you act up she was like oh they broke the mold there is only one you you have a unique assignment on your life that you are called to fulfill okay from the beginning of time in eternity before your mom even winked at your dad god said i'm going to bring these two together to make this seed and bring this person to the earth to bring alexandria and annette and hazel and taisha and cookie and camille and all these other women that i can't see to bring them to the earth because Alexandra has to do this and that has to do that hazel has to do that and so he has you with your personality with your beautiful bold self he has you in your particular location in your particular family to do a particular thing in the earth let me just say it again you are a seed 
the planting of the Lord and the Lord expects growth from you. He expects return on his investment. He didn't save you from the car accident, the bully, the crazy ex, the dysfunctional upbringing. He didn't save you from the molestation, the sexual abuse. Okay. He didn't save you from these things for you to sit like a bump on the log, looking crazy, not to reach anyone else. You, it, it is time for the women of God to come from behind the curtain, to come out of the shadows, to share their stories, to stand up. People of God, we've got to stand up. I sat here and I watched on the news. Other, and I don't want news. It's not my deal. It just so happened to be on the TV. Okay. Watching on the news, the murders that are happening, missing children missing women the fact that our teachers now, and i've been talking about this the last couple of days the fact that our teachers now have to have active shooter drills in school the fact that they have to have certain equipment the fact that we're having conversations of should teachers be allowed to have weapons okay the world that we are living in y'all have to sense the shift okay and you have to say okay god what is my role in this because guess what your role is not just to sit back and be quiet, okay? I have another shirt. Y'all know I love graphic t-shirts. I have another shirt that says, stand up, speak up. I, I don't know what order it says, but it says, speak up, stand up. That is our calling, okay? As women of God, I'm talking to the women tonight. Our brothers are going to see it on YouTube later. God bless y'all. We are called to speak up and stand up in this system, in this season, hello, and in this system. So talking about why do you pray why do you pray it's not about 15 minutes of fame it's not about a laundry list it's about god what would you have me to do guess what some of us need to do it at least every day at least every day god it's monday what would you have me to do today god i have to go to work i have to go to walmart god i gotta do this what would you have me to do god help me to be open Help me to be sensitive to do what you say do, to say what you say do. If God is telling you to reach out to one of your sisters, will you do it? It could be the one that gets on your last night. God, every time I call her, we are on the phone for two hours. And God said, okay, call her anyway. She needs to hear from you. And you're like, man, what? It could be an optional meeting at work. And you say, man, all these jokers do is meet. I'm sick of meeting. And God said, no, go to the meeting. And you're like, what? This is it. This is next level, y'all. This what we what we do just showing up on Sunday morning, just paying tithes. All of it's necessary. All of it's good. Hey, Melissa, thank you for being here. All of that is good. But when are we going to level up? We Look, we level up our prayer request. We used to ask God for a Honda. Now we're asking him for a Benz, right? Okay. We used to be okay just having a couple of dates on Friday night. But now we want a husband, right? So we level up in that area. But are we leveling up in our calling? Are we being sensitive and hearing what God is telling us to do in this season? Melissa, my comment's not working, dear. Engage with your sisters. They are great, great um, women here. So, um, don't be discouraged. Connect with them. I just, I can't see anything that you're saying, but thank you so much. It's an honor that you're here. But this is what I'm saying. When we have people literally being gunned down in the street, being gunned down in schools, all of this homelessness that's happening all around us. Hello. Sex trafficking happening all around us. Okay. I'm not saying it to, um, depress anybody. Okay, but if you feel convicted, if you feel indicted, good. That's what it should feel. You, sh If your heart is not saying, I should be doing more, then you are not in the right place. Because your heart should be saying, okay, God, what should I be doing? And guess what? As, as quick as I say that, let me also say this. You're not called to everybody, hello, and you're not called to do everything. But you have, hey, Chelsea, thank you for being here. Sis, please get started. Chelsea, y'all know, is my ad hoc secretary. She's my sister admin. Chelsea, the comments are not working. It's ridiculous over here. So handle that. Um, if you can, if you're going to plan to be here for the rest of the le lesson, if not, that's fine too. We have got to do better as the body of Christ. 
We sit up and we get fed the word, fed the word, fed the word. But you know what I say about that? We ought to be open vessels just like this, like you can see through this hole in my hand. The word of God is supposed to be able to flow through us. When stuff comes to us, it has to go through us. It's to share. It's not to just get fat and hold in for ourselves. Okay? We have to be willing to share our story. Our life has to be the Bible. Come on. this, this None of this that I'm saying is new. None of this that I'm saying is new. Your life should be a Bible that someone can read. Someone needs to look at you and be drawn to you. Not sexually, not because you're cute and you are, not because you wear nice clothes and you do, not because your hair is beautiful and it is, but to say she has such a sweet spirit. She looks like she has it going on. I want to get to know her. I want to see what it is. And that's your opportunity to witness. You may never pull out a Bible, but they will sense the hope on your life. And then they'll get some hope. They'll sense encouragement on your life. And they'll get some encouragement. When you're birthing those businesses, those books and those brands, when you are leveling up, when you're being brave to change your career. Wait, hey, comments! <laughs> the comments are working! First of all, I don't want to distract it. And I know YouTube is just like, this is a crazy person. Facebook gremlins have been trying me all month. And before now, I've been saying that Sarah is the only one that can turn the comments on. But Chelsea, apparently you can too. <laughs> I see your comments. Bless the Lord. God is so good. Thank y'all for praying with me. Thank y'all for your grace. Hey, Daphne, I didn't see you sneaking here. I'm so glad you were. Hey, Hazel. <laughs> so ridiculous. God is awesome. Y'all, what what I say? We will not be defeated and we will not be denied. Because don't play with me, Okay. Can you please explain to me why 37 minutes into this, the comments now work? Don't don't even try it because we can't explain it. We already know. But guess what? As bearers and carriers of the light, hello somebody, we have to continue to battle darkness. We will not be defeated and we will not be denied. If I say, oh, the comments don't work, I ain't even going to be on Bible study. Then how is Melissa going to get blessed? How is Annette going to get encouraged for the week? You understand what I'm saying? This is it. You're right, Daphne. Our story is unique and different. We have to share. Melissa, thank you so much. Okay, she's at work tonight. Thank you for popping in, sis. I hope you'll catch the replay. Okay, it's going to be good to you. Listen to it tomorrow, okay? Yes, indeed. Somebody. I'm excited. Okay, so I was going to verse number six of Matthew 6. So we said, glory carriers, absolutely. And it's your sign. Y'all, your glory should be like a tractor beam. People should be like, oh my God, what? Oh my God, just, <laughs> just drawn to you. You ever be somewhere and somebody asks you for directions? They ask you how the um, how the outfit look. They just want, people just want to have a conversation with you. Y'all, that's that glory. People don't know why they are, um, they are drawn to you. Now, I will say this, and it's going to go on YouTube, and I don't care. As women, we have to be very careful because guys will absolutely, with a capital A, guys will absolutely be drawn to that. And they'll be like, hey, how you doing? And they think it's one thing. You understand what I'm saying? But that's what we have to be mature. Okay, so you're not sticking your bosom out and your hips and all of this. You are letting that glory shine forth and saying, how are you doing, sir? You have a blessed day. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Letting the glory shine through. Not this performative stuff. It's not about your Jesus uh, sticker. It's not about a cross on your neck. It's about living the life. How are you treating your customer service people? Hello, somebody. What do you do when you see somebody homeless? How are you treating that, um, that young girl that got all of her stuff hanging out? What are you doing? Okay, I'm talking about why you pray. All of this stuff. It's self-inventory, what I talk about all through the week. Self-inventory. We got to look at ourselves. We always are looking at others, but we have to take self-inventory. God, what is in me that is blocking the flow? God, how do I get purpose done? Like I said, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But sometimes throughout the day, if lunchtime, if you don't feel like, if you don't feel like you have served, you have done 
Check in at lunchtime. Okay, God, am I on point? Did I miss anything? God might say, go back. God may say, go on and fix you a cup of coffee. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm not trying to sound extra spooky and extra spiritual. It's not even about that. It's about being tuned in, plugged into the source. Hello, just like I got this light right here. Hello, look at that. Okay, example. That's Pastor Hattie for you right there. <laughs> plugged into the source. You got to have that light on. Does your walk, does your presence draw others to God? Okay? Is your lamp trimmed and burning? Come on, Daphne. Daphne going to help me out. Okay? If nobody else don't help me, Daphne and Chelsea and Hazel going to help me for real. Y'all already know that. Okay? And we can't be... I got to get to my next verse. Absolutely right, Daphne. We can't be too busy so that we miss what God is saying. What did I say the other day? That was straight from Dad. I wish I could take credit. My daddy said, you cannot let your personal be bigger than the mission. Hello, somebody. Please put that, since the comments are working, please put that in the comments. You cannot let your personal be bigger than the mission. Your mission is to die empty. You got to live full, hello, and die empty. You got to fulfill purpose while you are here in the earth. Let me say this, and I promise I'm going on. I don't even have but a couple more verses anyway. Time waits for no man. And tomorrow is not promised. I hate to even use this as an example, but I'm going to use this as an example. Not crass. Hello, somebody. Not a crass example and not a hurtful. This young lady actually has a connection to my spiritual family. Her nephew, it's a local family here, whose four-year-old child drowned in a pool. Okay, when they were told that parents cannot be in the pool area for the lesson, this instructor said that, in other words, she felt like she got results and for her safety, for whatever her program, that's what she said, that the parents was not allowed in the area. Four-year-old boy drowned. Okay, so you mean to tell me you don't think your days are numbered? You mean to tell me you got time to waste? You so caught up with what's going on with you and your man and your kids and your job and your house and your community that you're not going to do what God says? You can't let your personal be bigger than the mission. The mission is getting purpose done. Hello? Just like you separate personal from work. Hello? I hope y'all have learned that. Listen, as a minister, as somebody who runs my own shop, it is hard for me to separate, right? That's something I was just talking to my sister today about learning how to do that and learning rest. God's been telling me that literally all year. Learn rest. Learn rest. So if you are separating personal from work, if you say, no, parent, the, my teacher's here. Nope, parents and students better not call me after a certain time. My nurse is here. Nope, I deal with them patients when I get back, Okay. My corporate girls, nope, I don't want to hear from the boss man. I don't want him in my email all the time of night. When you separate, like, just like you separate that, separate your personal from doing God's business. Because I promise, now this is what grandma did say, when you take care of God's business, he will take care of yours. For a fact, I'm not telling you nothing I've heard. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. If you can set that to the side for just one minute, Man, I just had a knockdown drag out. Not physically, I hope. Okay, but I just had a ridiculous argument with my man. Then my sister from church called me. She needs me. Because she has something going on with her man. She got something going on with her kids. She got something going on with her job. Yes. Yes. Now, you got to mature in it because you got to know. Know every phone call you're not going to take. All right? But when the spirit says answer, or when the spirit says, don't worry about him, go get you ice cream. And while you're on the way to the ice cream, call, call Sally. Uh, this is it. This is the maturity. We talking about why you pray. It's all, it's all related. It's all wrapped up in here. Okay. Maintaining a healthy balance. And you know what? Now, this is what my mentor taught me, Chelsea. Thank you for saying that. Cause that's good. An even better word than balance is alignment. Somebody put that in the comments for me, please. I'm, I'm excited about the comments. Alignment. Because it's not going to necessarily balance, right? Because God may tell you, you know what? Nope, you got to do 75% of this right now. 
And God may say, you know what? I'm going to make you a 25 so strong that you're going to be all right. And then the next season, it could be completely different. Like he had been telling me. When the Lord told me, it was almost two weeks. He was like, nope, you need to chill on the email. You need, And I was just like, what? <laughs> like, I'm talking to the Lord like, what? Like, that didn't even comprehend in my mind. Like, wait, what? What? Discern and get that alignment. Remember the survey. See, I didn't come to say this. I got three more verses. Remember the survey. Does this line up with who I say I am? Does this line up with where I say I'm going? And baby, if the answer to this is no, then it is not worth your time or energy. Period. Mom, dad, I don't care who. That's it. This is why you pray. This is why you pray. God, show me how to discern. God, show me how to align this stuff. God, show me how to flow in purpose. God, show me how to say no. Show me how to lay down. Show me how to be quiet. Okay, all right, come on, because I'm getting ready. Y'all ain't keep me here all night. I got stuff to do. <laughs> Fellowship with him. Praise, prayer, and worship. Absolutely. Your life will change. Daphne, you said it exactly right. You said it exactly right. And knowing that God will not give us more than we, what we can handle. He gonna, he's going to line it up. He's going to line it up. And people have... Hazel, you can say that again. People have to be okay with it. And if they not, Hazel, what we tell them? Take it up with God. Take it up with God. Because I'm rocking with him. I'm going to obey what he said. So no, I'm not going to always be able to take your phone call. Sorry. No, I can't always go out to dinner. But, but guess what? It's going to be seasons. Nope, you need to go. Nope, you need to answer. Okay, come on. I got to... Let me go to these last places right here. That's their problem. <laughs> and guess what? That's their business. You upset about it. Guess what? That's your business. <laughs> it, in, enjoy that. You upset? I'm not. You upset? I'm obedient. You upset? I'm flourishing. You upset? I'm wealthy. So, <clears throat> that, straight up. And that's just it. Okay. Matthew 6, we still in message version right now. Let me, I'm going to try to go through 6, 7, and 8. No promises, but I'm going to try to go through 6, 7, 8. Absolutely, Daphne, they need to stay in their lane. Your best bet is to not try to get in God's lane. Your best bet is not to try to interfere with me when I'm doing God's work, okay? Or else God is going to deal with you. Don't have God have to jump over you to get to me or, or jump on you about me. Hey, Charlene! Charlene is in the building. Yes. Why are you upset? I'm just, I'm obedient and flourishing over here. Skin glowing, looking great, fantastic, enjoying life, okay? You look like a prune. Okay, y'all, come on, don't, don't, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> All right, come on, Matthew 6, here we go. Verse 6, message first. We're going to try to go through 7 and 8. <clears throat> Here's what I want you to do. Find a quiet secluded place so you won't be tempted to role play before god oh wow you didn't even know the word told you like really how to pray and what to do with it you you didn't know just be there as simply and as honestly as you can manage the focus will shift from you to god and you will begin to sense his grace y'all that is powerful that is powerful. That's Matthew 6 and 6 message version. Let me go to verse 7 and 8. The word, This is it right here. And I'm so happy we're on a social media platform where I get to say this right here. The world is full of so-called prayer warriors who are prayer ignorant. I didn't say the word then. They're full of formulas and programs and advice, peddling techniques for getting what they want from God. Don't fall for that nonsense. I had to break out the hands. I needed destiny in here to see me break out the hands. Don't fall for that nonsense. This is your father you are dealing with. And he knows better than you what you need. With a God like this loving you, you can pray very simply. Y'all, I, I got chills. Did you hear what God said to us? 
with a God like this loving you, you can pray very simply. Pray quietly and secludedly so that you won't even be tempted to role play all the thus and thou. You don't know what thus and thou even mean. Did you ever take an advanced English course? Don't don't let me go there. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. Okay. Um, I we getting ready to pray. Get your prayer requests together. Don't put them in the comments just yet. This is the last one. I'm first of all, this has just been good to me already. I know it blessed you. I don't even have to ask because I feel it. I know it did. I know it did. I'm gonna look at verse seven and eight in the new living. And then we're going to pray and we're going to get out of here. Okay. Matthew 6, verses 7 and 8. This is going back to New Living. Okay. When you pray, don't babble on as the Gentiles do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating words again and again. Don't be like them. For your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him tell you something god is awesome and one of my favorite scriptures in the world in isaiah 64 says while we are yet calling he has already answered i will flip this table over right now okay that is just good why we pray why we pray he knows what we need Daphne said it. If he knows the number of hairs on your head, he knows what you need. Trust him. Pray his will. God, not my will, but your will be done. God, I'm grieving. God, I am displeased. God, I am hurt. I can't believe I feel betrayed. God, I thought I would be further in life. Hello, somebody. I thought I would be doing something different. I thought my money, my relationship, my home would be different. God, I feel like I went wrong with my kids, with my family members. Hello, somebody. I'm picking up on all of this here. God, what? And listen, remember in the previous verse, prayer is not all about talking. Prayer is about forgiving your brother and sister. Prayer is about hearing what God has to say. To us the church hello oh my god whoo jesus father we thank you mm, mm, mm. hallelujah why we pray why you pray what did i call it why you pray but it's why we pray <laughs> why you pray if he can take care of the birds hazel and the flowers yes yes and they don't labor, nor do they toil. That's why I say I do not hustle, nor do I bustle. Mm -mm. When I was a corporate trick, corporate trick. Did you even get ready to say that? That is terrible, Jesus. <laughs> when I was a corporate chick, I hustled. And I did. It was, it was a lot. But God is ushering me, and I'm entering that rest, his rest. I don't hustle, nor do I bustle. I don't have to. I don't. Come on, y'all. Let's pray. We're getting ready to get up out of here. Daphne, thank you. I love you. That's it, Alexander. He take care of you. And guess what? You can't. Who did I talk to um the other day? Oh, I know who I talked to. Lisa, it was you. I love you. You know, I know you don't mind me saying it publicly. I'm not going to say what we was talking about. But I was talking to Lisa. And she was like, yeah, I was trying to figure out how I was going to take care of such and such. And I was like, you wasn't taking care of it before. And she was like, I know. Don't go right. God was taking care of it. You can't figure nothing out. The lady already told you on the song. Why I'm trying to figure it out. He already worked it out. Come on, put your prayer request. <laughs> Drop your prayer request right here in the comments. We're going to pray. We're going to get out of here. Listen, if you have a lengthy or confidential prayer request, you can email me at thehealedgirl at gmail.com so that I can agree with you in prayer according to God's will. Nobody can take care of you better than your Heavenly Father, Charlene. Absolutely right. Charlene, call him Papa. Some people call him Big Daddy. <laughs> Heavenly Father. No one can take care of us like him.
And being obedient can literally change someone's life. That is so important. Yo, we are saving lives. We are changing lives. We are shifting lives simply by being us, simply by being obedient. Amen, sis. I see your prayer requests for guidance and for your family. Absolutely. Let me write it down because y'all know. Y'all prayer requests, I'm going to give y'all about 40 more seconds. I know it's a Wi-Fi lag. It's so crazy. It's blah, 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 all of that. Anybody else? I like that sis. I absolutely agree with you. Radical faith and radical obedience in this season. Hallelujah. I agree with you. It's a done deal. And you are healed. And you are healed. And you are healed. It's a done deal. And you know I don't play when it comes to that. And you are healed. We know God as a healer. He has done too much and brought us too far. It's a done deal, man. You best believe that. Wait, y'all. Hold on. God will not call you to do something that he hasn't made preparations for. Hazel, excellent. That's exactly right. Where he gives vision, he gives provision. Okay? My dad says he pays for what he orders. Just like at a restaurant, if you go to Burger King, <laughs> you better pay for that, what you ordered. God is going to do it. God is going to pay for what he ordered. Praying to finish what we start. Amen, sis. That's an excellent prayer request. Absolutely. Because we are finishers, especially in this season. Hallelujah. Yes. All right, y'all. We're going to pray. If I have prayer requests that come in during prayer, I'll grab those. Um, those of you that's catching a replay, hashtag replay, feel free to drop your prayer requests. Feel free to email me. I will agree with you in prayer, okay? Hallelujah. Let us pray. God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. God, I smile. My heart is warm because you did it again, Father. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing up and meeting us right here, God. Meeting us in the place of our need. God, you are so awesome. I love you so much, Father. We love you on tonight. God, we could have been anywhere doing anything, but we were right here connecting with you and connecting with one another, Lord God. And we are two and three and more gathered in your name. So thank you, Father, for being in the midst, God. We praise you. We honor you and we adore you. There is none like you in all the earth. We can look all over. We wouldn't find nobody greater than you, God. So thank you. God, thank you also for forgiving us of our sins, God. Our shortcomings, our missteps, our miscalculations, God. Sins of omission and commission, God. Thing that we were supposed to do that we didn't think that we was not supposed to do that we did do. God, thank you for forgiving us of all of those things. Wiping the slate clean. God, and we honor you. We give your name the praise, the honor, and glory that you are due. You are our creator, our father, our friend, Lord God. You are our comfort. You are our everything. Our provider, our sustainer, our anchor, our hope. Our rock, God, all of these things, God, we thank you. We could never say with 10,000 tongues, with 10,000 hands, we could never say thank you enough. We could never praise you enough. But all glory belongs to you, God, and we thank you. Lord God, and I thank you for my sisters, each and every chosen chick sister, Lord God, each and every one of our YouTube brothers and sisters, Lord God, all over the globe that will hear this lesson that will hear and agree with this prayer. God, thank you for touching minds and hearts. God, thank you for touching bodies because you are a healer. Lord God, my sister in Christ and my family member is asking for agreement and prayer, God, for her healing. God, I thank you for totally healing her. I thank you for removing the symptoms. I thank you for making the doctor's jaw drop, God. 
they don't know how the report is going to come back so clean and so clear. God, give her supernatural energy. Touch her body. Bless her to go on and do all that you've called her to do, Lord God. Bless her to rest well at night, Lord God. Bless her to move around and do what she needs to do, Lord God. Dealing with her kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids. Bless her. Keep her. Hold her. Energize her. Fire her up, God. Her ministry, the moves that you would have her to make. Bless her. Keep her, Lord God. And bless her husband, her household. Everything connected to her is blessed and flourishing. She is healthy, wealthy, and wise because the word says so, God, and we agree with your word. And that's that's that or not. God, my other sister just wants guidance, Lord God, and wants blessings in her family. So, God, I thank you for harmony, unity, peace in her family, Lord God. Lord God, thank you for shifting them in a place where they will understand the ministry and the calling on her life. God, touch her mind, her body. Heal her, keep her, bless her, Lord God. Speak to her spirit, Lord God, the things that you are having her to do, Lord God. She has business books and brands inside of her that you are birthing, Lord God. So touch her, keep her, bless her to keep her hand to the gospel plow and do all that you have called her to do, Lord God. Thank you for the revelation and impartation that you are giving her. Hallelujah. God, and I thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lord God, that my sister requested radical faith and radical obedience in this season god i thank you for how you are leveling her all the way up lord god that she will believe like never before that she will see like never before lord god and that she will flow like never before god thank you that she trusts completely totally 100 percent in you god because you are her source and total resource oh god so thank you for the radical faith and radical obedience thank you for it manifesting thank you oh god that she will stay fired up ready to go and do all that you have called her to do thank you for the women god that are coming oh god to connect with her lord god that they will have encounters that they have never experienced before life-changing mind-altering world-shaking encounters god thank you thank you lord god that families are going to be changed communities households are going to be changed because of her ministry lord god and lord i thank you lord god that my sister wants to be a finisher lord god not starting and stopping starting and stopping not back and forth up and down doubt confusion all over the place lord god but staying on that straight and narrow path that path to purpose lord god because purpose and pain are on the table oh my goodness and so my sister is going to choose purpose my sister is going to choose power because power will knock everything else off when she goes after power when she goes after purpose and doing what you say she will finish god so thank you for transforming her and all of my sisters lord god into finishers lord god and that we carry out exactly what you have called us to do lord god i thank you for blessing my sister, Lord God, that has been in class all week, studying, Lord God, getting certified and everything, Lord God. Bless her as she travels, Lord God. Keep her, Lord God. Continue to order her stuff. Continue to heal her body. Touch her mind. God bless her household, her family, Lord God. Bless her faith and her finances, Lord God. Thank you for overflow and abundance like never before, Lord God. Thank you that the seeds that she has in the ground, Lord God, are cropping up. Thank you for overflow of harvest, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for Amos 9 living, God, that is our lives. It won't be long now. We're going to look, and it's going to be blessings on blessings on blessings. Things happening fast on the heels of the other, happening so fast. It's going to make our head swim, Lord God. Thank you for blessing us to live in houses that we didn't build, to harvest from crops that we didn't plant, Lord God. This is our season of abundance. Lord God, just thank you, Lord God. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for all of my sisters, Lord God, who have come in tonight. This may be their first time or, you know, some just popped in for a few and everything. Some came in on a halfway point, God, but I thank you. And I thank you for blessing, God, that the comments could come forward, Lord God, because these are some major prayer requests. You are doing major things. You're a great God doing great things. So just thank you, Father. Thank you for hearing this prayer, God. If anything I left out or overlooked, Lord God, seal it covered in your blood manifested through the holy ghost god and i thank you i thank you and i praise you thank you for each and every one here thank you for sweet rest lord god thank you for peace of mind peace of heart and healing like never before lord god thank you for saving setting free and delivering god 
and it is so by faith we receive it and we call it done in jesus holy and precious name god before i close this prayer i just want to lift up my spiritual father lord god touch bishop hezekiah presley jr right now god his wife children grandchildren his entire family thank you for hpj ministries new beginning ministries lord god thank you for continue to blow up the joint lord god thank you for that supernatural flow father thank you for the word coming through our man of god thank you for keeping him healthy wealthy and wise and centered and grounded in you god and we thank you in jesus holy and precious name hallelujah amen 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 oh my gosh <laughs> Woo, he did it again, y'all. He shows up, and I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. I love y'all so much. It means the world to me that you would spend your Thursday night with me. I so appreciate it. Listen, uh, in terms of quick announcement, guess what? I'm excited. CSRA, listen, I don't care if you are Atlanta, Columbia, Charlotte, Augusta, Aiken, the whole area. I need you to show up on Saturday. I need you downtown Augusta at the book tavern hello the book tavern i'm having my first in-person book signing for the patient is wearing lipstick it's a big deal it's a movement it's my tell-all memoir it's amazing the book tavern downtown 978 broad street this saturday starting at noon listen bring a friend catch a ride i need to see you there face in the place come hang out and um it's a wonderful wonderful bookstore right in downtown augusta owned by a great couple and so it's going to be um exciting there so meet me there okay um saturday at 12 noon and um y'all know we get down like this every week every week somebody say every week thursday 7 p.m eastern time thursday night live chosen chick style bible study it's a pleasure and an honor i i love it here i really really do love it here so tomorrow is fun friday fun 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 friday listen invite your friends to the group when we get off this stream right here, I want you to go back in the group, back in the group, back in the group, go to the top of the page, smash that notification bell so that you can get notified for all of the fun Friday games that are coming your way tomorrow. We're going to start it off with our word for the day, food for thought, our joke, then we're going to have games all day. Then right around lunchtime, we're going to have our official chick chat. It is always a very, very interesting conversation. I want to know what you would do in the situation. What would you do if you found out that <laughs> that you are now homeless because your boyfriend thought that you were snooping through his drawers? What would you do if your fiance's mom let her cat lick all over the food that she wants to serve over serve to everybody? What would you do? That's a, just two of the examples we had the last couple of weeks. These are real people, real situations, and it gets real crazy. So stick around for that. That's right around lunchtime. Then, what? That's it? That's it. So definitely hang out. Fun Friday. Invite a friend to um, to the group. And since Charlene is in here, I will make the announcement. Charlene, we're getting ready to drop in here. But feel free. This is not, y'all know I don't do this. I don't promo people. Um, but this is something near and dear to my heart. I pop retreat. Excuse me. I pop encounter. In pursuit of purpose this is an amazing spiritual Holy Ghost filled five-day encounter that's going to be taking place this October in Orlando Florida it's a big deal somebody say it's a big deal Charlene feel free to drop your link nobody else drop links okay we don't do that Charlene feel free to drop your link um, registration is open now this is ladies only and is limited availability I'm talking about life-changing I'm talking about the Holy Ghost show up and like sit in your lap it's not a game it's real so check out this link you can look at the footage the testimonials their payment arrangements and all those things that can happen um for this ipop in pursuit of purpose encounter coming up in october okay all right y'all that's it that's all i got i love y'all have an amazing night night